Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload many vehicle alerts using the FTP function. So in the Air Ranger dashboard, just head over to Plate Alerts, and this is a new account, so when we click on this, there won't be any vehicles in the alert categories or anything. So what we need to do is add some here, and when these vehicles are found anywhere by any device, an alert will happen. So let's start uploading some vehicles. What you'll need to do is actually um, connect, so use the TLS version and just name it as you wish and um, the address for the FTP is ftps.api-airranger.com and then just add your username and password as you did when you first signed up so it's the same username and password and uh, just connect to that account and you'll be connected to that FTP account there so um, ready to go now you just need to add some CSVs. So we've got a template set up for you. That should be just below this video if you want to download that. Um, and you'll have this template to play around with. You can open it up in Excel and there will be a couple of records in there for you. This is quite a large one, but you'll need to add in the plate. There's some optional, make and model and year, for example. And then you'll need a category name and uh, an alert message as well. So whatever you put here will be um, generated, it, even if the, let's say, the category isn't in the dashboard right now, it will make it for you. So uh, you can do that right within here. So in this one, there's 18,000 records. Let's just save that up and um, go across to the FTP and just uh, drag and drop it in. So once that's uploaded, uh, it's a 1.5 meg file, it will be ready. So let's just jump across, across to the dashboard and show you its, uh, its uh, hopefully refresh it and it should come up. There you go. So all those records have been immediately added to the Air Ranger dashboard and they will be ready and active and uh, good to go as far as being alerted um, of the operatives out in the field, let's say. So 320 pages of those and um, they're all pre-approved at this point. Uh, you can set that as well in the administration. But as long as you keep the same name, you can update that at any time. So let's just go back to it. And as you can see, these 18,000 records, what I'll do here, just as an example, is delete all the records other than one. So just delete those out. Just leave one record in here as an example. And what I'll do is just copy that across into the FTP. It'll ask me about replacing an old file, which I'll do, and that should replace it. So as long as the name is exactly the same, it will replace all the records in the AirRanger dashboard and not add new records. If you added a new CSV with a different name to the FTP, which you can do, it'll add to the records. So keeping the name the same enables you to update things very regularly, uh, daily or hourly, and you can also automate it, of course, on your end if you wish.